Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will be showing you how to use the RSS Transmute plugin to edit, translate, merge, spin and many more operations with RSS feeds. So you can copy them and uh, publish them on your website in an edited form or even in the same form that they are in at their original source. So let us dive into this right now. So to install the plugin, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, and select the zip file that the plugin is installable from. You can get this zip file if you download the plugin from Code Canyon. You will get a package which contains also the documentation of the uh, plugin and the installable zip file. So you need to extract the package and you will find the installable zip in there. So you install the plugin and you will get this, the RSS transmute menu here in WordPress. And here you will be able to set advanced configuration for the plugin. And this will be shown in another tutorial video, which will include also advanced uh, features of the plugin. In this video I will show you only the quick setup and everything you need to go know to get started with the plugin. So let us get started and uh, show. let me show you an example on how to use the plugin. Okay so now let's go to the RSS editor plugin menu. The, here is where you will be able to create your new RSS feeds. So I will be using an RSS feed from TechCrunch and from Tech Republic to demonstrate the basic features of the plugin. So keep in mind if you want to get also info about advanced features, please check the another tutorial video that I will publish uh, in this channel. I will make also a playlist for this plugin. Keep an eye out for that playlist. Okay. So simply to get started with the plugin, you can copy the RSS URL that you wish to copy or edit, paste it in the original RSS feed URL, set the schedule at how often should the plugin update the items from the RSS feed, uh, number of maximum number of feed items to include in the feed, the feed name, in this case, let's name it TechCrunch and some advanced settings that we don't touch right now. These will be explained after a minute. So now just let's copy the RSS feed without any modifications. So let's run importing and let's refresh the site and resulting feed link will appear here. And here it is. This is the TechCrunch feed it is imported from here. So the plugin copied the entire RSS feed and republished it on our website. So now let's sh let me show you how to use some functionality of the plugin that will allow you to edit the RSS feeds. So um, first of all, let me show you how to merge multiple feeds. So I have also this Tech Republic feed and simply let me enter a comma and paste the second URL. So this is the second feed URL. This is the first feed URL. I have a comma here and let's increase the ma maximum number of items included in the feed. So items will fit in, more items will fit in in our feed and let's name it this time mixed and save settings let's run importing so the plugin uh, gets items from both feeds because if we don't rerun importing the plugin will keep the data from previous import and now if we refresh our site we will see that the mixed feed will contain TechCrunch and if we search here, we will see TechCrunch until here. And from here down, Tech Republic starts. So the two feeds were merged and in this mixed feed, we will see TechCrunch and Tech Republic articles. 
Okay, so now uh, let me delete the Tech Republic articles for simplicity and uh, let me rename this to Tech now. And uh, let's say I want to edit the title of the feed items. This can be edited here. So let's say check this tech article. What is new in tech? Sorry, sorry again. Okay, so this will be appended to each title. So check this tech article and each content of the feed items. What is new in tech? Save settings, rerun, and uh, checking the tech feed in the item title. Check this tech article you will see it in every tech title and in content what is new in tech this will be added to the beginning of all content tags in the rss feed okay now uh, let me roll back these changes for simplicity and this time let's say i want to translate the content of the RSS feeds. So in this case, we should scroll down until we see automatically translate content to. And let's select um, German, I guess. German will do it. Source article language. We can leave this uh, disabled if the content is in English because the plugin will assume it is in English. Or we can select explicitly English. It is the same. So let's save content. Let's uh, give it another name, German. And let's rerun importing. This time the importing will take a bit longer because the plugin is also translating content. And the translation process takes longer than simply importing the content. But it should not take more than a couple tens a uh, couple of tens of seconds so 10 20 40 seconds at max if uh, the content is also translated so let's wait this out okay and it already finished we can go ahead and uh, check the german feed so indian does end the let's turn monads and also the title Indian okay so the plugin automatically uh, translated the content of the feed now let's see what happens if we wish to spin content so let's disable here save settings and now let's go to plugins main settings and search for spin spin text using word synonyms here we can, will be able to use the best spinner word they have spin rewriter or turkche spin for turkish wiki synonyms free thesaurus or a built-in spinner so let's select the built-in spinner for simplicity and save settings if you save settings here all feed sources will be spinned so now let's spin content and create a new spin feed now importing is running also content is automatically spinned in the plugin and things will get generated soon so importing is running and spinning we have to wait this out guys also so until then let me show you some advanced features of the plugin and it is finished okay so let's 
so here it is let's check india which blocked 59 apps developed by chinese language corporations has banned and further 47 apps and individual accustomed to the topic acknowledged so as you can see the content is spin now it might need a bit of fixing up but it is unique as it is right now okay so these are the cool features of the plugin if you check here more you will be also uh, see that if there are feeds that do not contain full content of the article like in this case as you will see the tech republic feed let me show you this so the tech republic feed will not contain full article content so let me show you this let's run importing oh i sorry i forgot to disable spinning so let's disable spinning now to show you how the tech republic feed is uh coming up so now the plugin is also spinning content because of this things move a bit slower but let me show you the tech republic feed that was imported so here the content only contains a small part part of the feed that is so only a small description of the content of the feed however the plugin can extract full article content from the uh, uh, ar from the article sorry so if you scroll down you will see full content query type and if you change this to auto detect save settings and uh, tech republic full save settings and run this rule now now the plugin will crawl each article from tech republic and will try to extract full article content from them so this will take a bit longer because if your uh, feed contains 40 articles the plugin will need to download 40 articles from the source site but this is ready let's check content as you will see now the tech republic feed contains full article content so the content of the tech republic feed is much greater now because the plugin automatically detected and extracted content from these articles so if you have a partial feed that you wish to make with full content this is the plugin for you so yeah this concludes this quick tutorial video for the plugin if you wish to know more about the full functionality of this plugin please check the next video that will come up on this channel i will also add it to a playlist and uh, in there i will explain each and every feature of the plugin and each and every functionality and how you can use it so yeah this is all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time don't forget to subscribe to this channel I release a new video each day at 8 p.m. GMT, so hit also the bell notification to get notified each time I release a video. So thank you for watching, have a nice day, stay safe, bye bye.